Come with me for a fun and fascinating look at many types of racing cars, motorcycles, and go-karts. Today, we're going to a racetrack in Tooele, Utah. Utah is a state located in the western part of the United States in the Rocky Mountains. The racetrack we're visiting is Miller Motorsports Park. This park has one of the most modern and extensive racing facilities in the United States. You're looking at an aerial view of the racetrack right now. This track is located at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Some of these mountains reach up to 12,000 feet above sea level, or 4,000 meters. The racing facility itself is about 5,000 feet above sea level. There are always lots of entertaining things happening at the track. Come with me. Let's go to the go-kart track. Okay, we are at the racetrack today. We've got two of our good friends, Lauren and Brooke. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Glad to have you. Are you ready to race? Yes. Yeah, sure. You've got some important information for us before you start. Yep, that's right. Because when you're about to race, it's important to wear the right equipment. That's right, Brooke. It's important to have a helmet. Helmets. Well, we happen to have two helmets. Here's one right here. It's got Brooke's name on it already. All right, another Hello Channel Lauren helmet, all ready for you. A neck brace. You'll need a neck brace, that's right. Let me show you how this goes. It's going to go right around here to protect your neck when you're speeding along in that go-kart, right? And protective gloves. Protective gloves, just like this. We're ready to go. Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Let's hit the track, girls. Okay. All right, girls. I think we're ready to go. I'll go faster than you will. I don't think so. All right, let's go. Get your helmets on. Ready? The girls are out on the track for the first time. They're driving slowly, just to get a feel for the track. Lauren and Brooke are in go-karts number 11 and 12. A cameraman is driving the other go-kart. As Lauren and Brooke get more comfortable with the track and the go-karts, they begin to drive a bit faster. Brooke is trying to pass Lauren. Uh-oh, she almost hits her. Be careful, girls. The girls have been out on the track for a while. They are really going fast now. Oops, maybe a little too fast. Now, you've just finished, all right, stop. Good job, let me shake your hand. Good job, let me help you out. Okay. Pick up your helmet then. Okay, how was that? That was fun. That was so much Ready to go again? Yeah. Okay. Learn English and have fun.
Welcome to Come With Me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. Now, we're going to look at some high-performance go-karts. These go-karts are much faster than the go-karts Lauren and Brooke were driving. Let's take a look. Mechanics work on their go-karts to make sure they are perfectly prepared. This mechanic is carefully fixing a rear axle. Rear axle. The axle is made of very lightweight, high-strength metal. Here is the axle installed on the back of the go-kart. Notice the chain drive. Chain drive. The chain sits on a sprocket, which is attached to the rear axle. All of these parts are made of lightweight alloy metals. Go-karts are extremely light and very fast. These drivers race in a professional adult class. They're getting ready for a race. Notice all the stickers on the go-karts. The stickers have names of companies which provide materials for the go-kart racers. The stickers on these carts are a form of advertising. All drivers need to wear protective equipment. This driver is putting on a fireproof head covering which will protect him in case there is a fire. Drivers also wear full-face helmets, which will protect them in case of an accident. Go-karts turn very sharply and generate a lot of lateral g-force. Wearing a helmet while driving a go-kart creates a lot of strain on the driver's neck. So drivers often wear neck supports to reduce the amount of neck strain. This driver with the red suit is wearing a neck support just underneath his helmet. The red suit he is wearing is specially designed to protect his body in case of an accident. It is made of fire resistant material for extra safety. And the race is on. This race involves two groups. The first group is for professional drivers. The second group is for drivers that are new to the sport of go-kart racing. We call these drivers amateurs. Amateurs. Professionals race against professionals. And amateurs race against amateurs. Can you see how fast these go-karts travel? and notice how close the drivers get to each other. They need to get this close in order to pass. These go-karts are very light and very fast. It's very exciting to watch them race. White flag. This means one lap left to go. Next time around, the drivers will get the checkered flag, which means the race is over. Go-karting is a fun and competitive sport. It is much less expensive than car racing and provides fun for the whole family. So you two must be very proud of Johnny. Well, we sure are. Yeah, he's a great kid. So is he working at the dealership? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, he is. 
Oh, right, the dealership. Yeah, you just started there and... Actually, it's it been about six weeks. Has it been that long? Hmm. What's he doing down there? Well, you know, he does a bit of the, um... Hello, what do you call it? Um... Detailing? Uh, right, right. Detailing, right. He loves washing those cars. Actually, Tom, he hates washing cars. He just thinks it's a good place to start until he can move into sales. Ah, well, that's my Johnny, huh? Forward thinker. He graduates next year? No, 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 no. See, he still has a couple of fun. Yes, he does. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, sure, Johnny graduates next year. Need to get closer to your family? Larry, what about your kids? You have kids, right? Somebody you can talk about, no? Give your family everything. Give them your time. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life. Welcome to Come With Me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. Go-kart racing is great fun for the entire family. Let's have a look at some kids who race go-karts, boys and girls. This little girl looks as innocent as can be. Put a racing suit and a helmet on her and put her behind the wheel of a high-performance go-kart and she turns into a very competitive kart racer. Some of these little drivers are really amazing. You might be surprised at how good some of these younger drivers are. Look at the protective equipment. Full face driving helmet, neck protector, and a fireproof driving suit. Notice the visor on the helmet. The visor has two purposes. It protects the driver's eyes from any debris on the track and it is tinted darker to protect the driver's eyes from the bright sunlight. These drivers are getting ready for today's race. Go-karts are being positioned on the grid, grid. The painted lines on the grid show where the drivers should position themselves to begin the race. Some of these drivers are so small, they need special blocks installed on the gas pedal and on the brake pedal just so they can reach the pedals and be able to drive the go-kart. Here they go. The race is on. Remember, these are just small children and they're having a great time. The race is over, and we have a winner. After the race, the cars are inspected to make sure they meet all of the requirements. The inspector is checking the weight of the go-kart with the driver. The inspector will also measure the cart to make sure it meets the proper dimension requirements. Driving a go-kart is a lot of work, but everyone has a great time. <laughs> <laughs> 